Well, now on your feet at five, have you seen this around the social media channels today? Tower City Center was closed as a result of a major water pipe that burst, sending thousands of gallons of water raining down from the 12th floor through apartments into the shopping area below, and it caused major damage. Brandon Simmons spoke to tenants and employees who captured some of these incredible videos this morning. This is not what employees expected to see as they arrived for work at Tower City. That was the clearest sign that I should have worked from home. Water pouring from the ceilings, coming down the stairwells and elevator shafts. Enough water to cause Tower City Center to close for the day. It went from leaking a little bit messy to this is a torrential downpour in like 20 minutes. Andrew Shriver captured this video showing water pouring from the ceiling and light fixtures above, a problem one resident named Tim experienced in his apartment. And it sounded like somebody was taking a shower, but I live alone, so I'm like, that's, that's weird. So I go in the bathroom and there's water coming in from the light fixtures. He also heard water coming from the closet, but when he went in the hallway, he found things were much worse. A six inch water line for the sprinkler system had burst, sending water pouring down from the 12th floor above. Like, I never expected to have to deal with flooding on the seventh floor, you know, like. The tower portion of Tower City is owned by K&D Group. A spokesperson says the pipe that burst was brand new, installed as part of the renovation for new apartments that was completed in early 2020. Right now, the company is working to get the water cleaned up with help from disaster recovery companies, a process that should be done by the end of the day. But that's just the beginning, as the underlying damage still needs to be assessed. I have water coming in through my, like, electrical, like, light fixtures. I'm afraid to, like, plug stuff in, and, like, flip switches, and, like, I kind of want to get a hold of somebody to know what's going on. Now, obviously, you could see by that video, that's really amazing that that amount of water came from that pipe all the way up on the 12th floor. Residents here are allowed to get back into their apartments right now. However, they, along with the property owner, K&D, they're all frustrated that a new pipe, Betsy, was able to burst like this and cause this type of trouble. It definitely raises a lot of questions. I'll certainly grant them that. And when you see the video, when he opens the door and it's like a waterfall coming down, what I assume is a stairwell, obviously these are some very, very major problems. And I'd have to guess, Brandon, this is going to cost some pretty major bucks to get it fixed up, too. Again, that's what we're still going to be looking at. It's the electrical stuff underneath. It's the plaster. Remember, a lot of stuff in Tower City is still older and some of it even original. So we don't know how much it's going to cost yet and how much uh, maybe insurance will cover. But uh, we know it'll be a long process getting everything back to what uh, they would consider to be normal. It is one of Cleveland's most amazing landmarks. So hopefully everything will come out all right for it. Thanks, Brandon. We'll see you again at 6.